This truck is built on a Spartan MetroStar chassis with a 24 inch raised roof, medium four door axle tobacco cam. Engine 12 features a thousand gallon tank, a 1500 gallon per minute pump, seating for six, and is equipped with the fire department's rescue tools. Pump controls are inside the cab. Custom Fire has been known for enclosed top mounts since the early 80s. Um, we've got the most variations of this type of truck in the industry, and this is our latest innovation in this regard. We're looking at the enclosed top mount pump panel, and here you will see electric controls for the discharges, corresponding discharge pressure gauges, foam control, foam level gauge, pump pressure governor, water level gauge, and additional discharge controls. Up above, we have air switches for the air-operated intakes, tank to pump, rocker switches for generator, air horn, pump heater, the Harrison generator control module, and the compound gauges. As we swing to the left, we have a little compartment that we made for this customer at their request where they can place a clipboard. It's also a dry erase board and it's magnetic for hold downs. And then finally in the corner, we have the remote dual head radio control. And you can see the visibility out to the corner is superior on this truck, both downwards and outwards. Up above, we have some defrost fans, a radio speaker, and a flip down camera monitor for your rear folding tank connected to your rear intake. We're at the driver's side pump panel now. And as you can see, we have a large diameter intake, a large diameter discharge, two and a half inch discharges. Both discharges feature reducers and caps for a variety of hose attachments. Down below here, we have the Foam Pro Power Fill System, which replenishes the onboard foam cell from the ground. This pump panel is removable for service and maintenance, as well as we have tip-up doors up above to provide access to the pump interior. This is a driver's side front body compartment. Inside this compartment, we have a custom-made toolbox painted job color to match the rest of the apparatus. And up above, we mounted their hand lanterns and provided a shelf for the storage of additional equipment. Over the driver's side rear wheels, we provided storage for common saws and upper shelf for salvage covers. And as you can see here, there's ample storage for fans and a small handheld generator. Up above we have adjustable shelving. The rear passenger side compartment is full depth, full height, and features roll-out vertical tool boards. The tool boards slide out and are featured with pegboard design to allow the attachment of many different styles of adapters and brackets. Passenger side front compartment has been configured for the storage of the rescue tools. We have a vertical divider with adjustable shelving and a vertical tool board which pulls out to reveal the spreader, cutter, and ram. And here we have a small slide out tray to provide access to the power unit. Up above in this compartment, we have the control connection for the light tower and line voltage plugins up above. At the front of the apparatus body, we have a lower compartment which houses a electric cord reel and junction box. We have two poly speedlay trays which each carry 200 feet of inch and three quarter hose. We have a transverse compartment which allows storage of a Stokes and backboards. The curbside pump panel features a two and a half inch discharge, large diameter discharge, large diameter intake, auxiliary intake, and convenient mounting of hydrant and spanner wrenches. We spent a lot of time with the customer configuring the rear end of this apparatus. We have three two and a half inch rear discharges. We have a master rear discharge. We have a large diameter rear intake. And we have a two and a half inch direct water flow. At the rear of the truck above the rear intake, we have a slide in sleeve 
which features storage for a 10 foot hard suction hose and a low level strainer pre-attached. Up above, we have a recessed area for the storage of an additional Blitzfire monitor. Up at the center rear of the body, we have a recessed eye for the rear view camera, which allows the pump operator to visualize the folding tank when it's connected to the rear intake. This compartment features slide-in storage of a 24-foot two-section, 14-foot roof, 10-foot attic, pike poles, and two additional 10-foot hard suction hoses. To provide safe access to the hose bed, we've provided this stainless steel ladder, which folds down and swings out to provide safe and secure access to the upper portion of the apparatus body. We're up above a poly L-shaped tank with a capacity of 1,000 gallons of water and 20 gallons of foam. The green stack is for the foam cell, the blue stack is for the water cell. Here we have a vertical telescoping light tower with four 1,500 watt halogen bulbs. The entire apparatus is 10 foot 8 inches tall, 34 and a half feet long, and weighs 40,500 pounds of water. A new engine built for the city of Montrose.